What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Sensibly Cynical Podcast. My name, of course, is Sean, and today's guest is Don Damari. She is the host of A Teaspoon of Healing Podcast. She's a friend of the podcast, and I've had her on the podcast twice before. But this time, it's just her and I talking about, you know, peace and tranquility. I know it's still a rough time out there for a lot of people during uh, COVID and everything like that. And thankfully, you know, in the States, at least people are starting to get back to air quotes normal, but I digress. Um, This is an awesome conversation. We spoke over Memorial Day weekend and it's a good time. It's always a good time when I speak with Dawn. She's so amazing. And what she does with her podcast is awesome. She talks to a lot of people about, wait for it, healing, and spiritual growth. So, enjoy my interview with Don Damari. All right, everybody. I have an absolutely amazing guest with me on the line. She is the host of A Teaspoon of Healing podcast, Don Damari. Hey, how's it going? Hi, how are you? It's like we've, I'm doing good. It's like we've done this a time or two. Uh Uh-huh, totally. (laughs) Or like three. Exactly. You know, I was thinking this is the first time it's just been me and you. The first time was with yes, had Frank. Yeah, Frank, and then the second time there was Susan. Yep. So yeah, it's just me and you, all right. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. How's everything going? Yeah, good. You know, hanging in there. How about you? Yeah, everything's good. You know, the podcast is moving along. You know, how's I see you took a break for a little bit and now you're back. What's yeah. going on with the what's yeah. going on with it? Well, I have a couple episodes coming out. Next week, and then the week after, and the week after. So yeah, it's coming back. I took a break. Yeah. How has the podcast changed since you first started doing it years years back? Oh, I don't think so. I think so. I think to be honest, yeah, I do. I am trying to get a lot more guests that are either health professionals or people sharing their healing stories. And I still think Reiki is cool and all that, but I'm starting to kind of shift away from some of more of the. Um, uh, I don't really know how to say what it is, but just more about health, wellness, nutrition, healing stories from people, and a little bit less about uh, Reiki and, and that kind of healing. I mean, I still like the spiritual side of it and everything, but I'm just trying to keep the focus because there's, you know, I could really, I really needed to just kind of get it back to that because it was kind of veering off more into that, which was fine. Mm-hmm. I thought it, was, it was fine for the time, but now this is, uh, this is what it seems what people want to hear, so... <laughs> How does one, like, achieve ultimate peace and tranquility? And, like, what is ultimate peace? Do you know exactly what that is? I think it's different for all of us. I don't know if anyone can achieve that. Maybe Buddha did. (laughs) But it's a lofty goal, and I feel that peace and tranquility differ for all of us. However, to be at peace, especially nowadays, I feel like shielding yourself from a lot of stuff i I go off the reason i'm offline a lot i feel that since you know the pandemic started 2020 a lot of people have been online but i've noticed noticed not not anybody i follow on teaspoon like not not you guys um but just in general on facebook twitter you know and in the news i don't i'll talk about that but i find there's just there's a lot of negativity because there was a lot of fear this year and fear leads to often negativity and online interactions Mm -hmm. are great but it's not a good replacement for real life and we couldn't do that right and now i'm glad it's you know hopefully it's you know really ending and people can come together and have online spaces are great to meet people but and for like you and i since we don't know each other in you know physical life i think it's perfect it's perfect but sometimes with friends that you people you know in real life sometimes for me i've noticed the online stuff whether it's political fights in the last year or just ideologies or just in general it can cur- sometimes create issues with unless that person's a solid friend but maybe mm-hmm. more just people you know in your life i feel like you and i would be friends in real life though don yes i do think so but just being mindful of what you take in on the internet on the in the news no i know i was just <laughs> i was just trying to be funny gonna help. oh i know no i'm just saying that that to get inner peace, to, to try to get that for yourself, is to set the tone of your day. And sometimes, for me, it means going offline for a little bit, not reading the news, not not checking a Facebook fight. Kind of been off Facebook for a while. I feel like people have kind of veered into Instagram. Yeah. Um, you know, fear mongering or whatever you want to call it. 
like there's Facebook bullying. So there is. There's Instagram bullying too. Yeah. There's probably TikTok. <laughs> you know, I have a TikTok account, but I never People use it. People are but, uh, angry and sad and depressed, yeah. and they take it out on others. True. That's true. Mm-hmm. Also, the news. Well, the coronavirus. Be very negative. The um, pandemic has made it worse because there's been a lot of death. Yes, there's been a lot of death, a lot of sadness, businesses closing, kids being, uh, you know, their education kind of stunted, and parents have been very stressed, especially, the, you know, my kids are teens, or one is a preteen, one is a teen, but mm-hmm. really younger ones, you know, homeschooling and keeping active, you know, a seven-year-old, a five-year-old, a four-year-old, that's got to be really hard on people. Uh, while trying to work at the same time and stuff, you know, so. And then all the deaths and all the sickness. It's, it's, it's um, you know, it's, yeah. But there's a lot of positivity to social media, too. It's like a double-edged there sword. Is. It's not all negative. Well, we don't yeah, want to be, we don't want to be Debbie right. Downers. I was going to go into that. But I, <laughs> I beat you to it. <laughs> no, I feel that, like, for example, on your Instagram, you have the choice of who you follow and who, you, what kind of content you consume. So mm. that is a good way to do it. So if you're when you're online, to consume, to follow accounts that are uplifting or that just that make that you resonate with and make you feel good is, mm. is important if you want inner peace. You know, what else could you do? Well, I find that being in nature a lot mm-hmm. really, really helps just connecting with nature. But if you live near it, wonderful. I'm fortunate too. If you're not... Even just going, somebody told me this, even getting a bucket full of dirt and putting your feet in it. Really? Grounding, grounding and it, it sounds really silly. Uh, sounds or is? <laughs> I don't know. That's what someone told me, and I, I haven't tried that, but that that's that, that's more about grounding. It's not really. It's more like a symbolism, I, I guess, right? Symbolism. Or maybe get a, get a couple plants, you know, to have around you, to be around nature um, in your apartment or whatever it is. Um you know, if you live in a place where it's safe to walk, mm-hmm. go out, just take a walk, go running, go for a hike. Um, even if you're just walking around mm-hmm. and getting fresh air and being outside is really helpful for inner peace. Mm-hmm. And for me, it, it can be, I guess, depressing. But sometimes realizing that it could always be a worse, whatever situation you're in, could be a lot worse. Right. Yeah, I try to keep that in mind, too, when I'm going through something. Yes, but we all have you know, blessings and there can always be much worse. And sometimes people that may have it a lot worse from you, you think, well, why are they happy? Because you, you can just make that conscious decision every morning that I might not have a good day, but I'm going to be happy with it myself as much as I can. I can I cannot control what other people do. It's not easy. It sounds really trite because I've struggled with this. I mm-hmm. used to really, like, I had coworkers at a previous job. And, mm-hmm. you know, a job and coworkers and jealousy, this was well, back when I worked at a corporate office of a real estate agent, um, company, and it was really hard to not let uh, some of the coworkers, some of their stuff affect me. And I wasn't the only one, but you know, to try to, you can only control your reaction to it. If you get upset, it's okay to get upset, but to try to come back to that center uh, that you thought of in the morning, I'm going to be happy today, no matter how crappy the day is, I'm going to be happy. And to be able to come back to that and remember. Um, but these people, who knows mm-hmm. why they're being jerks or yeah. why your coworkers are annoying or somebody in your family. I think hobbies are good, too. Yes, hobbies are great. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> you know, they help you get your mind off stuff. It's like, I know golf has gotten a spike up. Like, I've heard in the news a lot more about golf than I've ever heard in my life. Yes, I've heard that, too. And I wonder if it, it might be from the pandemic. You know, it was a, at the beginning when people didn't know it was safe. You know, really, like socially distanced. I think it's pretty socially distanced naturally. It's outside. Yeah. So maybe that was why. But yeah, I've noticed that. And something that's just for you is it's awesome. Yeah, what are some uh, recent episodes that you've done that've kind of There's a couple. I have one about meditation. I have a topic about meditation coming up and that's a very good thing to do if you're if you need inner peace. That's another thing you can do. And there's techniques that you can learn to do that in very stressful situations. And then uh, there's an interesting one just coming up with a, a she's a dietitian, but she's an integrative one. So mm-hmm. just, it's more of, it's kind of helping women with hormone, going through hormones, whether right. if you're trying to have a baby or if you're going through premenopause, there's hormone craziness, you know, and it can tie back to what you eat. So finding what works for you. And so I thought that was interesting. So living in, you're still in California, right? Yes. 
has the area around you like been strict through the pandemic or are things relaxing? Well, it's relaxing now. Senate County, it's Orange County, so some parts of the area I live in are more open than others. My town was much more strict than the ones around it, but then they felt the pressure a little bit because all the restaurants were open and the towns around them, so they said, okay, we're just going to, you know, do it. But it's, it's definitely relaxing now. Um, I'd say a year ago, you know, you, you, go out, you couldn't really, you could take a walk outside without a mask because it's not really where it passes, and they finally admitted that, but... If you did that a year, some people here might think, oh, gosh, I'm outside. You know, I think you still have to wear. It's, uh, it's a little more strict. <laughs> well, the question is. But it's supposed to end soon. I don't know. What about you in Florida? I think uh, it's all kind of Well, Florida, it never, it never happened in Florida, Don. <laughs> oh, that's right. Duh, it's Florida. Well, you know what the we didn't believe in it. We did not believe in it. it life just continued on. <laughs> I'll say one last thing about it. We didn't, Florida didn't hesitate to toss the masks. <laughs> well, I feel like they have the vaccines and they seem to work pretty well. Oh, I got vaccinated. I'll say it on the podcast. I don't care. I, I got vaccinated. I got vaccinated too. And I'm accepting of anyone's choice about it. Like for me, I chose to vaccinate and the teenagers because I've seen the rate. I believe in vaccines and pretty sure that's why the rates have gone down in the U.S. because people are getting vaccinated. That kind of. It kind of seems like logic, but... What are you going to do, you know? You don't have... Not everybody has to. I was going to say, also, I bet the wineries have, uh, you know, kept on going over there in California, right? Are you a big wine person? Well, I do like wine. Not as much as some people. I do like wine. I like cocktails better. Oh, yeah? What's your beverage of choice? I like margaritas. Well, I'm drinking right now, so... What are you drinking? Uh, just like, just, uh, I'm a big, uh, like, whiskey person. Oh, uh, what kind of whiskey? Um, it's like a Canadian. It's called Yukon. It's a Canadian brand. Cool. It's kind of no, obscure. Like, it's hard to find. Yeah, and I like that. And they, you know, it's a lot of people. You know, say, oh, if you're into health and wellness, you can't drink it. There's, if you're trying to lose nope. weight, you, there's ways. My but brother's uh. It's not going to add too many calories. Yeah, they need to send that memo to my brother. My brother's a, a trainer, and he drinks like a you know, <laughs> like you know what. <laughs> So they need to, whatever you found, yeah. that, they need to send that to him. Exactly. <laughs> I think moderation is fine. And you know what, people, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> you know, like, you know, if somebody's been like an addict or they've been alcoholic. I right, of course. You don't want to. Moderation doesn't work and they have to stay away. Mm -hmm. And I never mean to offend, but I think otherwise, yes. It's, when you're on a really strict, restrictive diet, it's hard to be social. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. have one drink or have a little dessert or once in a while. Not, You know what I mean? Like, it's just really hard to enjoy life. About balance, that's what I think. Yeah, well, uh, where can people find the podcast, Don? You can find it on anywhere they get their podcast, <laughs> Spotify, you know the drill. Yeah. Wherever you guys get your podcasts, it's it's there. Your social media accounts? Yes, Instagram at Teaspoon of Healing. I do have a Facebook. <laughs> I do use it. I don't just never, don't update it too much. Facebook.com, Teaspoon of Healing. And I have a Twitter that I don't really use, but it's at Teaspoon of Healing. I did want to say that achieving inner peace and trying perfect inner treat peace and tranquility i don't know if that's possible but there's just so many ways that you can really you can really do that for yourself um just you know going out in nature being mindful of what you consume on the news mm -hmm. or social media and remember you always you can, can only control what your reaction is you can never control the actions of people co-workers family right I have relationships you can decide to be happy even though it's really hard you can just you know, decide that every morning. Um, what do you say to people that are like so busy that they don't have time to do any, you know, meditation or yoga or whatever? Or what you... or, well, they, I guess if they're driving a lot, maybe even just listening to music that they really like and just getting into it, whatever they like to do, listen to an audio book, people do that. That's, that's a way to get peace. It's doing something for yourself when you're on, especially now that the world's opening up, you can be busy, busy, you know, on the, on the go. I'm sorry, the world, the country. <laughs> Delete. <laughs> sorry. Now that the country is opening up, getting back, you know, into the car, commuting, or go, go, go. Um, yeah, it's harder. It is harder to to get that that peace. So yeah, you might not have time, but you could you can meditate at your desk. Mm, that's a good point. 
probably wouldn't meditate in the car because you know you want to make sure to stay alert while you're driving. <laughs> Yes, yes, you beat me to it. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> listen to this, listen to Sean's podcast. And there you go. Hey, be sensible, yeah. not, be sensible and not cynical. There. Yeah, you can even just <laughs> take walks around the office. Uh, just by, Even just a few minutes in nature. You've always enjoyed, you like, outside. you've always liked the sensibly cynical name, right? It's got a good pun yes, to it. I think it's awesome. I, I think it's very catchy and I like yeah. it. <laughs> Oh, I'm no, I'm the no, I'm the guest. You're not Frank anymore, but in this, but how has it changed? Let's say since the beginning when Frank, when you guys kind of parted ways and, and, until now. Um, not really too much. I mean, I guess a little bit because with him, I had we had like subjects that we would talk about. So now I've turned it into an interview show. So I guess yeah, it has it has changed a lot because all all I do is interviews now. Nice. Yeah, you're right. That has changed. Do you like it? Um, yeah, like I'll still do topics, but I'll have a guest for the topic. Like it's not just me talking about something anymore. If I'm going to talk about a subject, I have a guest because, you know, in the numbers, they're up and down. They went, they were good, down, good, down, you know, but right oh, now yeah. they're, right now they're, uh, they're pretty steady. And then coming up, um, I have model Ink Panda is, is joining with me. So she's going to have her own show. <laughs> Yeah, she's going to have her own show, talking to models and stuff. Oh, cool. Yeah, that so sounds fun. She's going to talk to, you know, people inside the modeling industry. Yeah. Well, that, there's probably some stories. <laughs> some. She's one of my best friends, and she passed, sadly. But she, oh, I'm she sorry. It's okay. She was a beautiful soul, too. She was beautiful on the outside, inside, and she has some stories. There's at least some stories in the industry. Yeah. Bad, funny, funny. Well, that's in every walk of life. That's true. But yes, that sounds like a fun topic. Yeah, yeah. Ink Pan- yeah, Ink Panda Unfiltered. She's starting. I think she's on vacation, oh. but when she gets back, she's going to start. Nice. So. I'm looking forward to it. I'll check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Dawn. Well, it's Thank been a, it's been a good time, and um, you're always welcome to come on whenever you want. And- of course. You're all, and you're welcome to come on on Teaspoon of Healing if you want to talk about the, whatever you wanted to talk about. <laughs> yeah. <That's laughs> like to yeah, yeah, I was wanting to ask you about that, if I could come on and That'd just talk cool. about yeah, I would love to. how running has changed my kind of life. That's exactly the stuff I'm looking for, so yes, <laughs> that would be great. All right, well, great. Um, you have a good uh, rest of your uh, you too. extended weekend, Memorial Day. Yes, you too. And uh, I'll, talk to you, uh, I'll talk to you later. Yes, and thank you for, <laughs> for the interview. All right, you take care. You All right, bye. Okay, there it is, another episode of the Sensibly Cynical Podcast in the books. Once again, I would like to thank Don for coming on the podcast today. Coming soon is the debut of Ink Panda's new podcast, aptly titled Ink Panda Unfiltered. Also, if you could please if you could please subscribe, rate, and review us on iTunes, it would be highly appreciated. Check us out on Twitter at Cynical Sensibly. Instagram, Sensibly Cynical Pod, and you can check out our Facebook group. Please stay safe and take care.